To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Link. The Faces of Evil. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. There's also a Link's cynical outlook, which is deftly woven into his characterization. His personnel philosophy draws heavily from the ancient Greek philosopher Diogenes, for instance. The fans understand this stuff, they have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they are not just funny, they say something deep about life, as a consequence people who dislike Link. The faces of evil truly are idiots, of course they would appreciate, for instance, the humor in Link's cynical catchphrase G, it sure is boring around here, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now just imagining one of those adult-pated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as animation magic's genius unfolds itself on their game consoles. What fools, how I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a CD I link tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only and even they have to demonstrate that they are within 5 IQ points of my own, preferably a lower beforehand. Thank you for watching my high IQ content. Please like my video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more of my high IQ content and comment on what topics I should do reviews on in the future.